All right, guys, I'm working on a 2014 Chrysler Town & Country minivan. So we're doing the brake pads. And you're changing out the brake pads. After you put the new brake pads on, you got to compress your piston so it fits over the new brake pads, right? Well, these rear pistons are a little different than I'm used to. I'm used to taking a C-clamp or a piston compression tool and pushing it back in. It's not going to work with these because internally inside the piston there is a screw a thread and so to compress these you actually there's, there's a there's a proper tool for this i've got needle nose pliers here you're going to want them spread out a little bit because you're going to want them right in here and then you're going to spin this now let's see if i can get a good grip on it while holding the caliper in place here now you see that see how that turns let me give you guys a little bit of a side view here so you can see it happening here. There we go. So now once you've got this compressed, you put this back over top of your new brakes. It should fit on quite easily. And you're ready to put it back together the rest of the way. Just so I've said it, I'm just a normal guy doing my own repairs. I'm not a mechanic. Uh, so if you guys know more about this than I do, and I'm sure you're out there, uh, please drop me a comment in the comment section. What I do know from speaking to my mechanic is that this has something to do with the emergency brake and how the emergency brake works and ties into the rear brakes. But if you found this video helpful and you think I've earned it, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you guys along with me as I continue to learn and do and show as I go. Thanks, guys. I appreciate your time.